Welcome back guys to another PvP build, back to my Stamina Necromancer, but this time with the 2H Asylum weapon. Back in the days I played this juicy weapon for over 2 years on my Stamina Warden and it's still strong. It gives a ton of ulti regen if the target is below 50% and if you use execution on him. As low the target as more ulti points you gain. On the body yes defensive set Pariah, I didn't found a better defensive set at the moment. 45 breaths is almost even. I've tested some other things like Ancient Dragon Guard or Armor Master, but Pariah is still best in slot here for defensive set. Same stuff with Balorg, it's probably the strongest monster set in terms of damage. I can't find a alternative uh, monster set which is even. On the jury, Malaka the smithic item and two trainee. On the back bar, the critical repose sword and board. You could alternative go for the master sword and board. It gives extra resistance and a little heal since we use puncture here. Traits and glyphs, 5 impen on the body and 2 well fitted with prismatic glyphs. On the jewelry full infused weapon damage. On the 2H mall as trait Nurn, sharpened would be better for damage. I prefer Nurn for extra burst heal. With the berserker glyph, extra weapon damage. And on the back bar a Nurn sword and a sturdy shield with the stamina drain poisons. Skills are Executioner, which is essential for this build, since we used the Asylum 2H. I usually use it at 25-30%, to 30%, but with the Asylum, I prefer to use it a little bit earlier for the extra ulti region. Last bones are more burst spammable. It applies Major Defile. It's AoE by the way. AoE Major Defile is so a 16% less healing and it deals a ton of damage. A spammable dizzy swing. I tried a couple of things with skulls but this is still the better choice in terms of single target damage. Then mortal coil for sustain and extra healing. It only consumes one corpse. It costs basically nothing. A burst heal rally and as ultimate Dawnbreak of Smiting. Alternative in small scale or in group general I use the Colossus here instead. Back bar puncture for major and minor breach, another 9k more penetration. Then race against time or snare removable, it gives major expedition and minor force. Then vigor our heal, summoner's armor, our resistance buff, spirit guardian. One of the strongest defensive skills, it gives a unique 10% damage mitigation and it also heals. As defensive ultimate, spell wall, alternative, sometimes I use the goliath here. As race, I am Dunmore, probably one of the worst class for <laughs> this build, but keep in mind it's also my PvE char. Nord, Imperial Orc are definitely better. As Mundus Stone, the Serpent for extra sustain. With an optimized group, you could go with the Warrior or the Lava Mundus. For 1 VX, I prefer the Serpent. As Buff Wood, the Artium Takeaway Broth. And as Potions, mostly the Resistance ones with Physical Resistance, Stamina, and HP. Sometimes the Tricep Potions or the CC Potions before I Ulti Dump. Quick look on the blue and red CPs. Blue ones are Master at Arms, Deadly Aim, Dulu 3 buff, and Resilience. Red ones Rejuvenation, Slippery, Juggernaut, and Ironclad. That's it with the build. If you want to see some gameplay, I've uploaded yesterday a 1vx footage. I will link it down in the description below, check it out. If you like my content, don't forget to sub my channel. Over 80% are still subbed, do me the favor, click on this red juicy button. I would really appreciate it. I will definitely keep going with this PvP montage videos and builds, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Ciao!